All right, we are here talking with Andrew Rickauer of the United Way of Marquette County. Good morning, how are we doing? Uh, good, how are you doing? Doing well, thank you. Uh, today we're talking about some of the things that United Way of Marquette County has been doing and some opportunities coming up in the future. Uh, first thing we were talking about earlier was the Community Response Fund, this uh, three-phase project that you all have been working on and just uh, wrapped up phase two. Could you kind of walk us through what the first two looked like and what you were able to do? Yeah, so the Community Response Fund, it's a collaborative effort between United Way, Marquette County, and the Community Foundation of Marquette County. And phase one, we funded 56 agencies over $86,000 given back since March. And that was to meet the critical needs in the community uh, related to the COVID pandemic. And really survival, PPE, sanitizing, you know, just to help get the community through the pandemic. and. The great thing with that is the money was raised and distributed on a weekly basis. So it went right back into the community to really help out. There wasn't a lot of lag time. Um, so really filled a, a much needed void in the community. Um, so we were happy to be part of that. And then phase two, that application process started in early December and we just met last week to distribute the funds. It's a, to distribute these funds, it's a group of community volunteers that came together, reviewed applications, discussed and uh, voted on it. So phase two funded 23 agencies for $26,000. And again, that money was we discussed the applications and that money went right back into those agencies immediately. So it's already being put to good use. Phase two was more on the recovery side of things. Um, nationwide, we're looking at about a third of nonprofits potentially not being able to make it through the pandemic. And even with the recovery, businesses recover at a different rate than nonprofits. Nonprofits, a lot of the uh, communications coming through, at least from United Way worldwide, are saying that nonprofits are going to be about five, six year, five to six year recovery time to get back to where they were pre-pandemic. And so with phase two, that was really to keep the money local and to help our local nonprofits recover and keep the doors open. Um, the one thing we really don't want as a community is for local needs to not be met when nonprofits aren't able to get the funding or have resources they need to keep the doors open. Um, and these are, we're looking at the critical needs, homelessness, some basic needs, food, shelter, um, PPE, still part of phase two, but just really to allow these agencies to open the doors and see the clients yeah, that they need to be, that need to be served. So, I mean, though, I mean, you're just trying to address these needs while, I mean, these organizations, these nonprofits, they aren't usually just flowing in money anyway. So that at this time, like these donations, have a direct impact, like you're saying, keeping lights on, keeping doors open, just being able to do the basics of what they're offering uh, and things that we could lose, like these are critical things like homelessness, you were talking about uh, therapy as well, that uh, with such limited resources anyway, we can't afford to to lose these folks. Yeah, exactly. That's in, in the best of times, a lot of these services and needs the agencies are they're all operating on a shoestring budget um, and to go through this pandemic needs are up expenses stay the same 